Hey folks, Rob Avis here. I just wanted to make a video today about some of the projects that I've been working on in the last little while. And so some of you may be aware, but probably most of you aren't, that I'm now working part-time at the Green Building Technologies Lab here at the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. And so that's the building behind me there. And basically what I've been asked to do, I've been given essentially two projects, although there really is no limit to the types of projects that I can work on here as long as they're green and sustainable, which is why I ended up taking this contract here. Right now I'm working on Canada's zero carbon building standard for residential homes, which is super interesting and I'll be making a whole bunch of videos about that and some of the challenges associated with that and why it's important and some of the insights that we've been having as a result of working on this project. I'm also working on the third residential living building challenge building in the world. And so if you're not familiar with the living building challenge, I'll put a link to it down below in the show notes. And essentially, if permaculture came up with a building standard, it would be the living building challenge. And so this is one of the most rigorous building, I don't want to call it, I guess standards or um, protocols in the world. And there are all these different pedals that stipulate how the, house ha how the house has to operate. So for example, we have to be net positive water, we have to be net positive energy. The house can't be built with any red list chemicals. And so red list chemicals are basically cancer causing uh, chemicals in the building materials. It uh, needs to be very energy efficient in order to meet all of those criteria. Uh, they have to produce some of their own food they've got to preserve habitat, they've got to be carbon zero. I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. It's a very rigorous challenge that uh, is probably one of the main reasons that not many people have chosen to do it. And so it's been a really interesting project. I've got a great project team um, surrounded by really, really smart people. And uh, as we go through that project, I'm going to be making some of these videos and sharing some of those insights around both things like red list free chemicals, uh, being net zero or net positive on energy and water, uh, rainwater harvesting, I mean you name it, everything that I've been studying in the last 10 years is in this particular building system. So it's super interesting and I think there's lots to learn uh, not only for me but for the YouTube channel. Um, and so I'm going to be here for the next year or so uh, working on those projects. There's a bunch of other projects that we're working on as well, which we'll also be talking about uh, going forward on the YouTube channel because I think there's lots to share there. And I just wanted to show a few of the features of the building that I'm working in because I'm actually working inside of Canada's first net zero commercial building, um, which was actually designed by the Green Building Technologies team. And uh, it's a really cool building. And so the building itself is super energy efficient. It's got really thick walls and you can kind of see that based upon how thick the window sills are. Um, it's made of mostly uh, carbon based materials. So it's blown cellulose, um, all obviously ecological in nature. The wood is reclaimed on this building. So it's actually um, reclaimed from uh, pine beetle. Uh, we've got constructed wetlands on the inside, so I'll do an interior tour in a future video. Um, we'll just look at the exterior right now. We have solar panels on the roof, so we're collecting most of our electricity. We harvest all of our rainwater, and we've got a 30,000 liter cistern in the, um, the basement. So you can see we've got rain heads here. I'm just noticing it's missing a screen. We're going to have to fix that. We've got earth tubes, and so we can actually preheat air going into the building underground with these earth tubes here. We've got a construction lab behind us in that tent there, so we can do all sorts of building testing, which is super interesting. We have stormwater management on site. Um, so anything that doesn't get harvested off the roof can be collected in stormwater management. We've got this super cool charging car port right behind me. There's 18 kilowatts on there. Um, and then there's two electric car chargers right in front of it. And so we actually have Tesla's parking outside every day, which is kind of cool. Um, we've got rain gardens in the front. And so we're actually experimenting with how to create um, landscapes that absorb rainwater. Um, so similar to what we're doing at our house. We've got to get a sense of that there. 
Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but we've got solar up on the roof here behind me. So there's solar up there. There's solar up on top of that roof. And then we have a solar thermal and solar PV lab that we do a bunch of experimentation with. So just to talk a little bit more about ARIS, the Applied Research and Innovation Services and the Green Building Technologies here at SATE, we basically are a lab that collaborates with industry to help create innovation and overcome barriers where companies can't do it on their own. And so we don't take on conventional engineering and architecture projects. Our mandate is really to help industry to overcome those barriers and to create economic diversity and development. Um, and so we, t we wouldn't do a typical house design. We would do something like Living Building Challenge or we would help to develop a carbon zero building standard for residential homes. Those are the types of projects that we do. I'll try and think about some of the other projects that we're working on. Um, one of my colleagues, Ben Hildebrandt, who's a building scientist, is working on the MACA lab. And MACA stands for Materials and Advanced uh, Component Assembly, I think. Something like that, it's an acronym anyways. And so, ostensibly what that means is we're gonna end up having a wall library and so we're gonna have all of these super energy efficient wall systems that different builders can come and learn on and potentially apply to their own building businesses and learn how to build super energy efficiency super energy efficient wall assemblies for their homes um, another one of my colleagues is working on advanced solar photovoltaic tracking systems as well as advanced solar thermal systems. We're working for um, a shrimp farm. So we're actually doing aquaculture research on behalf of a shrimp farm here in Alberta. And so we've got this huge collection of industry partners that all have these really innovative ideas but they don't necessarily know how to action it or they don't necessarily have the resources or the research staff in order to do it which is where we come in. And so ARIS and the Green Building Technologies Department can get government assistance through grants and um, cash contributions from industry so that we can put projects together and do research that normally wouldn't happen on its own. So anyways, I just wanted to give you guys that update. Um, I've been having a great time here and uh, it's interesting some of my friends who are in industry have started coming out of the woodwork and wanting to do projects with us, which is really cool. And uh, if you want to do a project here at SAIT, by all means, look me up. Um, we can have a conversation. I'm still doing adaptive habitat stuff. I'm still working in my own business. I still teach PDCs. Um, one of the great parts about working at SAIT is that I can continue to advance to those parts of my life as well, which I'm really excited about. Um, so anyways, if you are looking to um, work on some innovative projects that you've been thinking about, you can definitely get in touch with me. And um, I'll be doing updates about Living Building Challenge and the Carbon Zero Residential Standard and various other projects that I'm working on here at SAIT. And uh, I'll be posting it up here to YouTube. And I'd love your comments. If you've got any questions about any of those types of projects, you can leave them down below. And uh, we'll see you guys in future videos as we cover more on specific green building technologies here at SAIT. Okay guys, talk to you soon.